It is just the best deck that I have ever built, you know? I don't even have to play the game. I just put down a creature. I just play it onto the battlefield and people just scoop right away because they know that the power of Malone is the ultimate freaking power. There is no Maloney action here. What up brothers and sisters and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Max Malone. Thank you all so very freaking much for tuning in. As per usual, I hope that you're having a wonderful freaking day. I do, because I am done after this video. Well, I still have to do one or two more attack techs, but then I'm done, and I can finally enjoy my freaking pizza that I've been baking for 40 days now. What? You've been cooking for 40 days? Yes, <laughs> for you, you know, it's 40 days. And I will give you an update tomorrow on how the dough is looking. But for now, I just want to remind you that the giveaway for deck boxes, sleeves, and even some playmats is still going on on my Twitter, where you can find me more than a hundred that more than a thousand people, something like that, have already participated and I've been growing so crazily much. So thank you also very freaking much for the support on Twitter. The bigger I get there, the more eyes on me from, uh, you know, Wizards of the Coast Daddy. And we might one day have a very own Matches Malone preview card, which would be so freaking amazing. But enough with the yammering, let's get into the angelic hammering. We're playing Immortal Angels today. Yes, we are, and they're just oh so good. I love them. I really freaking do. Because Angels is one of my favorite tribals ever. And I've just been twitching this deck just a little bit. So that we can win as many games as freaking possible. The only thing that can destroy us is sheer freaking luck. Because we're kind of a control deck with creatures. And we do have card draw in here, which most of the Angel decks don't. What card draw do you ask? Well, for one, we have the Sanctuary freaking Warden. That every time it enters the battlefield or attacks, you can remove a counter from whatever creature, whatever counter you remove, and you draw a card and make yourself a little 1-1 one, one green and white citizen creature token. You might say, hey, that little 1-1 one, one ain't that impressive, but hey, if you have one or two righteous Valkyries out and now that 1-1 one, one is a 3-3 three, three or a 5-5, five, five, that is pretty darn impressive in my eyes. So cut that little creature some slack. Then we do have the, uh, where is it, the uh, Sigurdus freaking Splendor in here. If you have more life than when, like the turn before, or the same amount of life, you will draw a card. So that means drawing two cards each single turn is just pretty darn good. It really is. Yes, this is monocolored, so it can be destroyed with a Vanishing Verse, but hey, not everybody's playing Vanishing Verses. So don't you freaking worry about it, sweet summer child. But we are playing Vanishing Verses, so... We have the card draw here with these two, and that is already very, very darn good. We have some more advantage with the Legion Angel, so that means we have three more cards than we should have in our deck, and we get access to that right freaking away, and also some card draw with the Inspiring Overseer. So the value of this deck is pretty darn tasty, and I like it a lot. So, we do have the classics in here, you know, like the Giada making our angels bigger, the Ufo Valkyrie getting bigger by herself, the Varighteous freaking Valkyrie because it's one of the best angels ever freaking made, and of course we do have the Liza because it makes our creatures unkillable kind of. Well, they still die, but they're immortal. They're just coming back, just like that. Ain't nothing but a heartbeat. So that is pretty darn tasty. And once all of our creatures are dead, bam, haunting freaking Voyage for Seven, bring them all back, and I freaking love it. Oh my lord, there's no scoop like a Haunting Voyage scoop. If you get your opponents to scoop to a Haunting Voyage, oh, you have a beautiful freaking time. And if your creatures are on the battlefield, and you think, hey, I cannot swing through because they have so many angels themselves, well, you just play a Blotchy's Thirst, you play a Vanishing Verse, you play a Medoc Massacre, maybe even, or you just use your Rampage of the freaking Valkyries, because whenever one of your creatures dies, they have to sacrifice a creature. And that is just very darn tasty. It says angels. So it doesn't work with your little one ones here. But for the rest, we only have angels. So don't you worry about it. The Furious Retribution, also so insanely good. You create a 4 for white angel creature token. Then all of your creatures can be tapped to destroy a creature with power less. And all your angels then get double strike. Once this is on the field, your opponents have a pretty thick clock hanging around their neck like if they were... Ice T? Is that... No, who, who was the one? Who was the one with the clock? You know, the one with the giant clock that had like the dating show or whatever, man. I am... I am so old. I am so old. So yeah, that is the idea behind the deck. 
just remove everything they own, get down, play a turn for Eliza thanks to the Giada. That will be like, I don't know, you play the Giada, you play the Righteous Valkyrie afterwards, this will be a 6-7, uh, you get 7 life, you're having a very beautiful freaking time. Yes, I can guarantee you that much. There are some people also throwing down some, I don't know, planeswalkers in here, but hey, we ain't doing that. We're all about the freaking immortal angels. That is also why we have one Takanuma in here. I did not forget this time to put in some spicy lands. So we have the Takanuma so that we can make sure that we can bring something back if we don't have our Haunting Voyage. For the rest of the lands, we have two Caves of the Frost Dragon because they can fly in just like our angels. We have two Hive of the Eye Turn because they can slam in and cannot be freaking blocked by less than one creature, so they, uh, by less than two creatures. So hey, if they have something in the graveyard that we really don't like, the Hive of the Eye Turn will help us get it out there. We do have the Aiganjo, so we can destroy something of theirs that is blocking or attacking, and that is also just darn freaking delicious. We have seven freaking planes, we have three freaking swarms, we have four Bright Climb Pathway and four Shattered Sanctum, and that is all she wrote. Never forget that this can also destroy Planeswalkers. It is sorcery speed, but for four mana, you can destroy a Planeswalker, and that is totally worth it. The versatility makes it very darn freaking Good. The Blood Chisters will be a card that I will be thoroughly. Just freaking thoroughly. We are free! And it's our duty to live well. And with these words, I want to say thank you also very freaking much. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you in those immortal games! Who doesn't love a good old angelic freaking a beatdown? Yeah. <laughs> Also, yeah, the giveaway on Twitter is still going on. Oh my lord, we're going first. Love it. Freaking love it. Especially with this hand, man. This hand is just amazing. The Twitter uh, giveaway is still going on, so if you want to win some Imperial Seal freaking playmat, go ahead. Follow me on the Twitter. You will enjoy it very much. All right. Am I even playing the Giada here? Yeah, I think I am. I think I am. All right. Giada. Go on up there. They might have a removal for her, but we can still play the UFO Valkyrie. You know, that is all that matters. That is all that matters. Alrighty. There is no removal for the Giada. You know that, my friend? You do know that, right? Alrighty. No freaking righty. So, can we next turn already play the Liza? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we can. We freaking can. That is just super freaking good. Alright, do you have removal now? The Deadly Dispute! Oh, what a combination of two cards, man! The Deadly Dispute into a freaking Chambly Boy, mmm, onto a freaking Chambly Boy. That is like pure freaking value, man. Pure freaking a value. Alright. Before we lose it, you know, i rather play it here right now. Because there is a chance that he destroy my uh, Giada or whatever. And yes, this one damage, and a scoop, oh, oh, two minute Malone is back. I will tell you, girlfriend, don't, man, please don't, I beg of you, please don't tell her. And yeah, we're ranking good in the neighborhood, get out of here, Rectus. get out of here. Oh, angels, oh, angels, you are, as per usual, my favorite freaking tribal on arena right now. We're going first. A little too slow. That is almost the same exact hand. <laughs> but just a little bit better, you know? Just a little bit better. Alright, they will think that we're Boros. I'm pretty darn certain that they will think that. The Mono Freaking Green. Alright. Mono Green is acceptable. For now. As long as you don't find a Werewolf Pack Leader into a freaking fight spell right away, I am okay with that. Alright. More freaking Roddy. So. We do have the Furious Retribution next turn, so that is also pretty darn tasty. Tasty indeed. We could also keep up the Aiganjo here. Right now they don't have the fights, but they have a second Werewolf Pack here. Okay. Alright. They're not even baiting an attack here. Not even freaking doing it. Alright. I mean, hey, we're just slamming in there, you know, doing all of that. Like, we're in the lead right now, you know. And next turn we can destroy a Werewolf Pack here, which is pretty darn tasty. Yes, it is. And we can use the Aganjo, whatever we want to do here, you know? So they want to draw two. Do I even block here? They do have something. 
It is just the best deck that I have ever built, you know? I don't even have to play the game. I just put down a creature. I just play it onto the battlefield and people just scoop right away because they know that the power of Malone is the ultimate freaking power. There is no Maloney action here. Get out of here. People, how am I supposed to do content like this? <laughs> Could you please, please stay in the game just for a little bit longer. All right, opponent's going first. Uh, let's bring down the... Um, who are you? I cannot read your name. I'm terribly sorry. But, uh, you know, my languages do not include any, any Asian languages. I know some Japanese words because I'm a freaking weep and I watch anime, you know. Matikuras hai. Nani? And stuff like that, you know. <laughs> but that is it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord, my opponent's not showing up. Well, that gives me a good opportunity to remind you once more that on Twitter there is a giveaway and we will be announcing the winners on my livestream the 19th, I think. So you have nine days, nine freaking days. Yes, it's going to be the live stream on the 19th when I am back. I don't know what's going on with my opponent here. Maybe they left, maybe they didn't. Maybe I would cut this out and uh, yeah, be back in a sec. And I'm back. My opponent is here now, at least I do hope so. I mean, their timer is running out already, you know? That is just bad for them. I mean, hey, the match didn't even, like, no one is a match for us today, you know? No one is a freaking match for us today. People just see my name and they're like, nah, man, nah, fam, I'm out. I don't want to do this. I'm afraid, man. Keep, keep from here. So, play something monocolored so that I can use my vanishing verse onto you. That would be pretty darn good. Alright, here they are. Nice. Hello. Alright, they are here. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you for tuning in, my friend. Are you really... Come on now. Don't you do it. Don't you freaking do it. Alright. So, depending on what they do here, if they're playing a red now onto the, you know, whatever, we are alright. We will see though. I can know Righteous Valkyrie into Righteous Valkyrie into whatever angel we can find. Oh my lord. Are you really like the slowest player in the known universe? Seems like it. Seems like it. Seems like our opponent just hates the game. Doesn't want to play even. I will just cuddle up in my corner. Yeah, there is nothing here. There is just nothing here. All right, the t combo of the century, Bloodthirsty into Hopeful Initiate, onto Hopeful Initiate. Come on, man, just attack in. You're Boros, you don't need to like, you know, take 10 million years to play. What is even going on here, man? What is even going on here? All righty, all freaking righty. So, and uh, now we chill, and we will see what they're playing here. But you know, a Vanishing Verse will be very tasty here, if we even here have to freaking play it. If we even have to freaking play it. But you know what will Boros do against this supremacy of angels? Oh my lord. Are you pooping right now, my friend? Are you just sitting there taking a good old poop? I, I can't imagine that, you know? I don't want him. I don't want him. But I can't imagine that. All righty. All freaking righty. So, they're coming in here strong. I will be getting rid of the hopeful initiate here. It is just the no most annoying one. Because it can't grow. And it's a grower, not a shower. Come on, just do something. Whatever it is, I will gladly take it. All right, we still need some land here. The thing is, do we take a beating here? I mean, hey, now we play this Righteous Valkyrie, it will give us exactly the life pack that they will take here from us. So yeah, that is all right. Are you even attacking in here? Are you even attacking in here? You're not attacking in. All right, that is beautiful. That is just beautiful. Okay. We're also not attacking in here. And we can get rid of one of those later if we really want to. If we draw one more land, that would be chef's kiss delicious. Freaking chef's kiss delicious. Up until now, we have not seen a single land. There it is, right on time. Right on freaking time. Oh, yes, baby. Give me that card. Give me that everything. We even have the Lyza now. And we will be getting rid of the bloodthirsty adversary here right away. Right freaking away. Okay, we're chilling. We're going back to 19 life. 
you know, beating Boros always feels good. Especially, yeah, get, ah, get out of here, man. Just wasting everybody's time. My, even my, look, you know, even my eyebrows. Look at my eyebrows. Even they're not evil right now. Just, yeah. <laughs> Dude, really, like, you know, you had everything, but still Boros, you bore me so much and now you don't even play the game. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. I've seen you before and look you in the eye. I think you were Boros, because everybody eyes. Alrighty. So, we do have these removals here. Opponent's going first, but you know, I will keep here. Giada into you for Valkyrie. It's another Boros deck. It is just another Boros deck. But still, I feel like this is alright. I told you. At least they have the exact, the exact same start as the player before. Isn't that bananas, my friends? Isn't that freaking bananas? I think it is. I think we also need a board state here. So let's go ahead and do it. They shoot my Giada right away, don't they? They do. Well, they use a Royal Eruption on it, though. That is pretty darn good. I like that. Black Source? No Black Source. Alrighty. We're still bringing down the youthful Valkyrie here. Just as a blocker, you know. And here comes the... Oh, that is not what I thought it was, to be honest. Not what I thought it... That is so bad, man. Come on, game. Come freaking on, man. Like, seriously. As if Boros needed more help, you know? As if. Um... Let's do this now. And let us just hope, let us just pray that they don't have something good here. They do have a shock. You know, all they need is a shock. All they need is a shock, but we're still doing it. Good game, my friend. Good game. There comes a shock now. No? No shock? No shock. That is peculiar. That is rather peculiar. Okay. Alrighty. That is indeed rather peculiar. We're keeping up a vanishing verse here. Get out of here, man. Well, that is... That is alright, so... We are getting rid of the etching, question mark? Yes, yes. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We cannot destroy it. That is so freaking annoying, man. So freaking annoying, man. Okay, can we do something, though, here? only we had one more mana, man. If only we had one more mana here. But Boros got us in the end, you know? Boros freaking got us in the freaking end. Get out of here, Boros. Get out of here. Going first with the perfect freaking start. Get out of here. Still, you know, Boros still doing Boros things. We didn't have any life gain here. And uh, yeah, there wasn't too much we could have done, you know? Just nothing, to be honest. Opponent's going first once more here. Do I like this hand? Yeah, we can try with this hand. It's another Boros deck. Are you guys serious? Is everybody playing only Boros today? Yeah, you can act like you're not Boros, but we all know that you are. We all know that you're freaking Boros. Yes, 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 we do. Yes, we do. Well, I mean, hey, we got the four mana for our Furious Retribution here. That's a last. Okay. Maybe they aren't Boros. Maybe they aren't, but what are they? <laughs> what is this big red? <laughs> what the heck, man? What the living heck? So, I will be going with the Furious Retribution here. Let's be honest. Okay, they are a big red. That is peculiar. But the more they fill my graveyard, the freaking better, you know? Go ahead, I like that. Alright, they're missing a color here, but they're not doing anything here. 
That is so freaking weird. That is just so freaking weird. Let's bring down our Legion Angel. Ain't nothing but an angel. Nothing but a Legion Angel. I like the Legion Angel here. I really, really do. The Dragon's Fire. Okay, here comes the Gold Span Dragon now. Here it comes. I mean, we do have the Vanishing Verse. No, no Gold Span Dragon. Peculiar. Freaking peculiar. Freaking peculiar. At least it looks like a very interesting deck, you know, I have to say. I really, really have to say. All right. Let's try to find a land here. We really, really need to find our land drops. It would be bad if we didn't. Well, and here it is bad. It is bad because we didn't. So, I'm very confused about this deck. I have to say, very much so. The Bloodthirsty Adversary. All righty. Oh, freaking Roddy. Yeah. Nice. Is this... I'm so utterly confused, man. Utterly confused. All right. I mean, we're obviously going with the Youthful Valkyrie here if we uh, find something else. Or are we even? Here's also the land now. So let me think. I think we go in Youthful Valkyrie. One, two, three, four, five. We need two more lands to be safe. Two more lands to be freaking safe. And we will see what they're doing here. Do they have even more burn? They have a gold span dragon. We're getting rid of it right away. Right freaking away. Yeah, get your mana. I don't mind. You can get that mana. You can get it. You don't exile my things, or do you? No, you don't. You don't exile my things. So I'm okay with everything you do in here. And if we draw one more land, we can even play the Sanctuary War in here. Which would be pretty darn great. Alrighty. Let's still try to find a land here. Let us just try. How many more do you have? Come on. Is your hand... Well, that is not what I thought it was, to be honest. That is not what I thought it was. So that is still our rod. Okay, no land. So we're drawing a lot of cards here, but no lands. That is a little bit annoying. Not the end of the world annoying, though. We only need one land to be super safe. Only one. PS2 attacks. Uh, no blocks. And Venturers. Goodbye, little bloodthirsty. Goodbye. So yeah, they will be playing the Masked Exhibition here. But we're still alright, you know? We're still pretty much alright. The Giada. That is lit. Freaking perfection here, man. Freaking perfection. Alrighty. Good day to you, sir. And we even found a freaking land. Beautiful. So we're starting to attack in here, let's be honest. Yes, yes, that is alright. You can get rid of that. You can do so. I will still just play my Sanctuary Warden afterwards. How many creatures do we have in here? One, two, three, four, five. That is not enough. That is just not enough. Um, yeah, You can have one hit here. I don't think they can wipe the board. I honestly don't think they can. They will make a turn knight here. Okay. That is also alright with me. Sanctuary Warden will come in very strong. Very freaking strong. <coughs> Excuse me, boy. Yatsushi. Still, I don't really care about that too much. I should, but I don't, honestly. Everything happens. Uh, removing a shield counter, as we have two of those. The righteous freaking Valkyrie. Beautiful. Just freaking beautiful. Okay, we are attacking in here. Like, there's literally no reason not to. And we need to deal some damage sooner or later. And you know, one more land. One more freaking land. And we will have this haunting voyage up and running. So, they get some cards. I really don't care about these cards, I have to say. I really, really don't care about those cards. If they get rid of my Giada here, so be it, you know? So freaking be it. That is still alrighty with me. They are attacking in. Why? Freaking why? This has a shield counter on it, you know that, right? Hey, I don't think they can deal 7 damage. I honestly don't think that they can deal 7 freaking damage to my Sanctuary Warden. And the thing is, even if they cared, you know, even if they cared, they won't. They freaking won't. Alrighty. I mean, we go Righteous Valkyrie into Legion Angel here. And that is already a lot of freaking damage. Oh, they're getting rid of the Giada. Well, that is actually a okay, a okay with me. It isn't, like, perfect, but it is still A-OK. Okay. Alright, it turns day here. They're like, 
I mean, hey, all of our life gain is exactly... Oh, there is the land now. There is the land now. But we cannot play the two things as I planned here. But I still think that this is the right call, because afterwards we're just playing the Haunting Voyage. What are you, what are you going to do then? Nothing, I tell you. Freaking nothing. So we're removing a counter, drawing a card, and uh, making ourselves a little human here. Okay, the Iganjo is perfection, man. We can now even destroy one of the creatures. We can't just utterly freaking destroy it, man. Just destroy it. Oh, oh, please don't. Oh, no, the horror. The horror! We go with the black stories here. There's literally no reason we are to. We're not being greedy here. We will just block and, uh, you know, shoot one of their things. So they're digging for another gold span dragon, I reckon. And will we freaking block that gold span dragon? Yes! One bajillion percent. So go ahead, my friend. Discard whatever you want. I am waiting. I am waiting for you to discard voltage surge. That is nice. Like to see it. The Chandra dress to kill. Nice. I like it. Without the sun. What I is there? It is the gold span ring. I told you. I told you. They're digging for it. They're freaking digging for it. All righty. More freaking righty. They're attacking with it even. Okay. But you know. We do have this, so let's use it. Let us freaking use it here wisely. We're using it freaking wisely. What is with my green screen? Get out of here, green screen. Get out of here. Oh, they have another voltage surge, number three. <laughs> okay. That is like the third one they find here. Just the third one they find. All right. So, are we filling our graveyard even more? Like, there's already a lot of freaking angels in here, so let's just go for it. Oh, beautiful! Oh, haunting now, the beautiful! And they scoop! Oh! What a beautiful game this was! What a beautiful freaking game this was! I love it! Get out of here! Alrighty! Mono Red ain't got nothing on us! Nothing, I tell you! Doctor Who? That's the owl? <laughs> Opponent's going first. Can we ever draw a black source or another angel? That is the only question that I have. I will keep this. We have a righteous factory in hand, you know? That is like a game changer. Okay. Well, there's another angel. I like that. I really do. And this is not a blue source, just so you know. It looks like it, but it is not. So we might be up against another angel tribal. All right, we even found another land for our uh, Legion Angel here. I like that. Let us just see if they are, or if they play a blue source here. They have three Shattered Wowzers. Just Wowzers. Okay. Here comes the Righteous Valkyrie. They do have a Vanishing Verse in hand. I do not like that. I do not like that at all. All right, but we do have the Legion Angel, and the Legion Angel is pretty darn tasty here. All right. <laughs> cough, cough. Cough, cough. Oh, Doctor Who! Doctor Me! Okay, yeah, nice. Okay. Well, you know, there's a lot more coming from where these are. You know, a lot of more. They do play blue here. Okay, interesting. Pretty darn freaking interesting. We're playing the Rampage here. Get out of here, man. Come on. What is this starting hand? What is this perfect freaking starting hand here? The Sunset Revelry. Okay, I do not care too much about that, to be honest. So here comes a board wipe now. Pretty darn certain that they have one. But I don't feel like they want to use it, you know? On one Legion Angel boy. Or a girl. Looks more like a girl, to be honest. I should watch my darn mouth. Okay. We are attacking in here. Let us see what they're doing. They're doing nothing. I like it. I really do. So we're playing another Black Source here. Bringing down Elisa. Lisa is very nice here. The memory deluge. That is good, I like it. That means you don't have anything. That means you have nothing, my friend. Nothing. And here's now uh, a, a haunting voyage. Yes, 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 yes. So if they wipe the board here, I'm actually okay with it. Because I'm getting back my Legion Angel. 
Yes, I'm getting it back. Do you think they have a counter spell here? I don't know, man. We'll have to find out. Another Legion Angel. Alright. And an inspiring Overseer. Get out of here, man. Come on. Like, seriously. Holy smoking Jesus, man. Holy freaking smoking Jesus. But the thing is that I do have the Haunting Voyage still. Now we'll be using it. Yes. Sooner or freaking later I will. <laughs> Get out of here, man. Get freaking out of here, oh, man. You're just underwhelming. You're just a piece of trash game. Giving my opponent everything they need all the time. Get out of here, man. This get freaking out of here. Unreal. Just unfreaking real. Well, the memory deluge here is pretty nice. It means that they maybe don't have anything, you know? Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? So we are attacking in first. Better see what they're doing. Playing another one ringer. Unreal. Unreal. Un freaking real. Look at everything they had up until now. Freaking perfection is what they had. Freaking perfection. Well, we're bringing down the Haunting Voyage here now. Angel, get out of here, man. Get freaking out of here. Yes, I'm doing it for two angels. For two. But it is totally freaking worth it in my eyes. Unreal. I mean, it's just... I'm flabbergasted. You know is what I am. Freaking flabbergasted. Holy smoking Jesus, you know? Just holy freaking smoking Jesus. Alright, this is so good though. This is so freaking good though. I like it a lot. Alright, gaining some life here. And uh, slamming in here, slamming in there. Just unreal, you know? The double wandering emperors. The freaking all the counter spells when they needed. The double vanishing verse. Unheard of. Unheard of. Now watch him play a farewell. Farewell right away. I told you. I told you. I told you. I freaking told you, man. This is not even a joke anymore. This is just pure freaking. You want too much? Get out of here. You're losing now every single time. I, I This is the forces lost of my life. The forces loss of my entire freaking life, man. Come on, really now. I mean, yes, that is their deck, but there's a limit, you know, there's a freaking limit, man. Just a freaking limit. Get out of here, man. Get freaking out of here. Just get freaking out. The farewell, right the moment they needed it, you know, not a second later. Not a single second later. Unfreaking real, man. Unreal. I just, I can't, you know, I can't with this one. I really can't. It is just a freaking joke, man. A freaking joke, man. All right. We are getting rid of the Kaito here. Now watch him play another Wandering Empress. Oh, they don't. They don't have another Wandering Empress. Well, ain't that something. Ain't that freaking something. I don't care about these little human tokens here at all. Emiria's Call. That is also all right. We can get rid of one of these angels here right away. Like, maybe they're out of stuff, but they still have the memory deluge here. So, yeah. It is super freaking annoying. The Furious Retribution is nice, though. I like it. I really do. That will give me a big old angel here. And we will see. We will just have to see what they're doing, you know? Just have to see what they're doing. If they do have another farewell, it might be. It might freaking be. Like, they can draw one here, you know? In three, two, one, second farewell. Told you. Told you. I told you. There is, like, you know, there is so much. I have learned in the last four years of Arena. If the Arena wants you to lose, they will make you lose. They will make you lose, you know? They will make you freaking lose. All right. I mean, come on, you know? Just come on. We draw land here. They are like ultimate freaking overlords here. With the freaking memory deluge in hand still, you know? There is nothing to see here. Nothing wrong. Everything is lands that I draw from now on. I told you. Hey, I'm not being salty. I'm just being realistic here, you know? Just being freaking realistic here. This is the definition of a forced loss. They had all the early game, all the early game. Nothing to see but all the early game. You know, this was the early game. Then they had the Doomscar into two Wandering Empresses, two of them, into two Farewells. I mean, come on. Come on, Arena. Sheesh. Sheesh.
So we do have time for one more four slot. I mean, one more game. <laughs> Just come on, man. You you cannot tell me that this is pure luck. You know, pure luck. You know. Yeah, right, right. Everything they needed twice, twice. Every card they needed twice. All right, opponent's going first once more here. Rectus, eh? All right, Rectus is okay because we have all this life gain here, so I'm okay with that. Tenacious under Dao. Uh, no, we're still all right, you know. We can go uh, the righteous Valkyrie into Furious Retribution, which is pretty darn nice. Let us just hope that we can go there. Let us just hope that we will do it, you know. It would be pretty darn good. They might have a removal here, but even if they do, okay, deadly dispute. Alrighty, they missed a land drop by the way, I just realized that now. So they do have the uh, deal for damage by sacrificing an artifact thing. And here it comes. Oh my, that's an unlucky witness, that is not what I thought it was. They might still have it, you know, let's be honest, yeah, there you go, there you go. Nice, nice, nice! Alright, the Voltage Surge, exactly, I one day will remember that name. I one day will remember the name Voltage Surge. So what you doing here, my friend? What are you doing? Nothing. Yeah, exactly. Freaking exactly. He comes a furious retribution. All right. Do you have another one of those, though? Do you have another voltage surge? We will have to find out how to get another, don't we? Freaking don't we? I mean, you know, I could destroy this unlucky witness. Oh, come on, get out of here. Is everybody now running all the removal all day long? All day long. What are you doing here? What a Nocino! 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 It's for an Italian, this is really hard to read. Really hard to read. Okay, go ahead, you do that. It's alright. I will still bring down the Liza next turn. And then I have a double striker here, you know? Go ahead, destroy your unlucky witness. Come on, come on. What are you doing, man? Are you really not able to play your own freaking deck, man? You should know the interactions. There you go. There you went. Okay. This is two lands. Very nice. I like it. I love it. Alright, so they have played two removals here already. They should be out very soon. Who knows? We we will see. We will see. You have Nixilis. Okay. <laughs> I really don't care about that too much. Yeah, decline. Freaking decline here. Alrighty. They just played up Nixilis into nothing. That is beautiful. I love it. Okay, go with the Lisa here. Alrighty. I mean, as I said, it will have double strike. Now watch him have another freaking removal here. Right away. Experiment, that is no removal. That ain't removal, my friend. That ain't removal. The climb. I don't mind. Defy me. I really don't. And you lose yeah, go ahead. Everything. Exile this. Do it. Do it. Push the button here, my friend. The deadly dispute, okay. Into what? Another deadly dispute. Into what? Okay, they also draw these two cards. So we will see what it is. We will just have to see. Now they will have a, a voltage surge into voltage surge. Unlucky with they have another eaten alive. They have another eaten alive. They don't! Don't have another eaten alive. Interesting. Alright, let us try to find a land here. That ain't no land, but that is still alright. We're getting rid of the Omnixilis here. Oh, give it up already. Oh, you give it up already. You're dead. Uh, All these years of training for smug nothing. Smug look off your face. That smug look. Just, who is the smug looker here? Land into Meat Hook. They have another Omnixilis here. Insane, man. Freaking insane. Okay. I really don't care too much, though. I have to say. I'm gonna remake the decline. They should, like, do something else here, you know? Decline. Alright, this will still be dead, you know? Still be freaking dead. <laughs> Shuffler! <laughs> Are you alright, Shuffler? Any scoop! Oh, my lord! <laughs> did, did you see that? I did see that, man! What the heck was that? I have no clue. Do you know? Do you know what it was? Yeah! Do you? Do you know what it was? Oh. Get out of here, Shuffler!
first few games we're so fast we have to do one more. Son of Thunder, Rocket Thor. But I am holding the lightning. Alrighty. If we draw one land, we're good, you know? We will get the Furious Retribution down. I feel like the Vanishing Verse is just a good card. Oh my lord, they have the Blanca sleeves! Nice. The one day I'm not wearing my Blanca sleeves, you know? The one day they are beautiful. Freaking a beautiful. Alright, there's a Emiria's Shadow. Okay, it's an Angel Mirror match. <laughs> it is just an Angel Mirror match. Okay, let's get rid of this right away. Should have used the Blood Cheese first. I just ate. Leave me alone. Leave Maloney alone. So we do have the Furious Retribution afterwards. That is pretty nice. I like it. I really do. There's even another land here now. Good, good. Alright, so will we find ourselves also Righteous Valkyrie? That would be pretty freaking sweet indeed. Pretty freaking sweet. If they cannot get rid of my angel here, I'm pretty happy. If they can, I will be a little bit sad, to be honest. Just a little bit sad. Alright, so what you doing here, my friend? The youthful Valkyrie. That is alright. I mean, I can still get rid of that thing, you know? And I will. I freaking will. Alrighty. More freaking Roddy. So, how are we doing this? But I am getting rid of all of them, you know? Getting rid of you here. Attack in. Oh man, this is just such a good card, man. Such a good card. And now we can't even get rid of the Righteous Valkyrie here. Goodbye, Righteous Valkyrie. I liked you. But you're not on my side of the field, so I really don't like you at all. Okay, so next turn we slam it in for 16. That is pretty sweet. Pretty darn sweet indeed. So what you gotta do, Mirror Man? What you gotta do? There is no Mirror Match for you. None so ever. Just imagine. Just imagine what a crazy Mirror Match this would have been if I had my own Blanca sleeves. It would have been so good. Pure freaking entertainment, my friends. Pure freaking entertainment. Alrighty, we go with the Righteous Valkyrie here, we are. We are, we are, we are. Youth of the Angels, alright, so, oh, the Wandering Emperor, okay, interesting. I did not expect that in the slightest, not in the freaking slightest, but that is still alright, you know. I mean, hey, who even plays a Wandering Emperor in a freaking Angels deck? That ain't no angel, she's a samurai. Is she though? I think she is. The Lisa. Okay. All right. But that is still okay, you know? Because I can uh, just play this now. And uh, just attack in. I will be attacking here like this, and I will be attacking in here like this. They're just taking it. They're just freaking taking it. They didn't even realize that, uh, you know, my... Uh, my creatures will not even die, they will get exiled because of the Lisa. The Sanctuary Warden, I would like to have my own Sanctuary Warden here, you know, that would be pretty darn tasty, I have to say. I really, really have to say. So they should be attacking in here. If they don't, well, they're going to have a tough freaking time. Here comes my own Sanctuary freaking Warden. Oh, yes, yes, give me a card, I like it. Okay. So we're attacking in with these two. Gonna have to block here. Are they double blocked? They are! The mad lad! The freaking mad lad! Okay, we're getting rid of the Liza and we're also gonna block to get rid of this little shield counter here. So, this gets exiled. As I said, they should have blocked before. They haven't. The next turn we can just exile the freaking Sanctuary Warden. Let us just hope they don't have a board wipe. They have a righteous Valkyrie. Just ain't enough. It just ain't enough, my friend. It just ain't enough. I'm sorry. I'm terribly not sorry. Not at all. Really not at all. <laughs> Alrighty, do we have enough mana for everything? We do not. So, let's get rid of the end. Hey, Scoop! They didn't even know what I was doing. They did not even know. They just saw that I was using a card and that was enough for them. Moving my cursor over the cards. Was enough to get him out of here. Really, man. If you're trying to beat me with the same deck I am playing, do a better job of it. Do a better freaking job of it, son of thunder. Get out of here.
That game against freaking Azorius was just a mess, man. That was just a freaking mess. I cannot believe that. Like, oh, come on, man. Just, come on, man, really. All of the things they needed twice, that was just bananas, man. Bananas. I can tell you that much. That shouldn't happen so regularly. But with Azorius, it just does. The card draw is so good. There's so many cards that I will not miss from Azorius. Like, I don't know, the memory deluge and something are cards that are still freaking here because they're out of the, uh, you know, Midnight Hunt sets. Oh, oh, Azorius. Oh, Azorius. Just like uh, freaking Boros, you are one of my least favorite freaking things. <laughs> I like, you know, I like blue, I like white, I like black, but then putting together, if it isn't Asper, no, man. Just leave white and blue alone. Just don't do it, man. Just don't do it. But you know what you should do? You should say thank you to all of these people on this beautiful list. Just like me. Every single day. I could not do anything without all of these people on this beautiful list. It is just amazing. I can go to my hometown and play a concert. And I still put up all of the videos. Because I don't have to do anything else right now. Just a little side jobs from time to time. You know that I'm still doing. But I can do it thanks to all of my patrons members. Because they're paying me just as much as my side jobs. So from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very freaking much to all of my patrons and members. And if you should be on this list, because you're a new patron or a member, forgive me, you will be on this list next week when I'm back, I promise. But if you want to be on this list and you aren't yet, you can check out the patron and membership below every single freaking video. But hey, always think of yourself first. If you need to buy yourself a sandwich, buy yourself a sandwich before you support me with one dollar. I don't need that one dollar if you don't have nothing to freaking eat. And also, one last thing before we leave. If you wake up tomorrow morning and you look in the mirror and you see the beautiful freaking face of yours, just remember that all of you are pretty are freaking sweet. I'm Mattis Malone and I will see you all tomorrow.